heard of the Bereans? The Bereans were mentioned in Acts chapter 17, verse 12, where they received the word with great eagerness of mind, but they carefully examined the scriptures as to whether these things were so. You might say they were skeptics of the first century Christians. While they're willing to listen to the word eagerly, the Bereans were apparently from Missouri, and they responded with, show me. Earlier in that same scripture, the Bereans are complimented by Paul, saying they were noble-minded. I like to say that I'm Berean in nature. I'll listen to what you say eagerly. If you can show me you're right, great, I'm with you. I'll be with you 100%. But if you can't show me why it's right, then I'm not going to accept what you're telling me. In fact, this seems to be the attitude that Jehovah's Witnesses have as well. Here's a quote from the book, Truth That Leads to Eternal Life. We need to examine not only what we personally believe, but also what is taught by any religious organization with which we may be associated. Are its teachings in full harmony with God's word, or are they based on the traditions of men? If we are lovers of truth, there is nothing to fear from such an examination. So, examining the teachings is to be encouraged. And that if a teaching is truth, then we should have nothing to fear from any examination. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Hold on a second. Alright, here's a quote from Watchtower of March 15th, 1986. Now what will you do if you're confronted with an apostate teaching? Subtle reasonings claiming that what you believe as one of Jehovah's Witnesses is not the truth. For example, what will you do if you receive a, a letter or some literature, open it, and see right away that it's from an apostate? Will curiosity cause you to read it, just to see what he has to say? You may even reason, it won't affect me, I'm too strong in the truth. And besides, if we have the truth, we have nothing to fear. The truth will stand the test. In thinking this way, some have fed their minds upon apostate reasoning and have fallen prey to serious questioning and doubt. I guess it would make sense why someone would say, if we have truth, then there's nothing to fear, since they're just reiterating what the truth that leads to eternal life said. But I digress. The Watchtower article I just quoted from goes on to say how any literature examining Jehovah's Witnesses' teachings is to be thrown away. I was told once at an assembly that such literature should be destroyed to ensure no one will ever read it. So, which is it? Are we to examine the teachings like the biblical example of the Bereans, or are we to accept teachings as truth and never question the teachings ever? Can teachings only be examined if the examination doesn't cast any doubt on the teaching? Can you only do research with the express purpose of proving teachings as being correct? What if in your examination you find something that casts doubt on the teaching? Are you to discontinue your examination? Top question number 44 is, Keeping in mind the example of the Bereans, as an active Jehovah's Witness, can you carefully examine their teachings? It's too late to change it